Well, good afternoon again. Um, I greet you from St. Elizabeth's Episcopal Church here in Sebastian, Florida. Um, I do want to say uh, today is kind of a slow day uh, for many and for uh, all of you who have been at home and you're probably going stir crazy right now. So it's a good time to come to the Lord. It's a good time to take a breather and it's a good time to share um, God's grace with uh, you and and so I'm privileged to come before you today. Um, we're going to do noonday prayer today again. Again, if you have a Book of Common Prayer, it's on page 103. Uh, give me a second to get there. It's page 103, the order of service for noonday prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I want to say, I'm going to use Psalm 119, because there's some great things in Psalm 119 today. Your word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I'm deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. And glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I want to read to you this the uh, from Malachi. It's in the Old Testament. Malachi chapter 1 verse 11. From the rising of the sun to the setting, my name shall be great among the nations. And in every place increase shall be offered, incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord. And our response to a reading is always, thanks be to God. And again, you know this one, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Together, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You notice in noonday prayer it doesn't have the doxology, doxology which follows right after that. And when it Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. They leave that out of noonday prayer. But now, Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you sent your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. I would offer this time for you to say a quick prayer or to put somebody in your heart that God is leading you to pray for and allow that person to come and as the day goes by, continue to pray for them. So Lord, I pray for this congregation. I pray for all of our people who are not able to get out I pray for the community that surrounds us. I pray for those that are sick, those who have contacted the virus. I pray for those that might be carrying it, that you would keep them safe and that you would keep us safe from them. So Lord, I ask right now that you would be with our whole community. Give them the peace and take away the panic that is out there. Take away the despair. I pray, pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. And to end this noonday prayer, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Going back to Psalm 119, your word is a lantern to my feet and a light unto my path. I, give, I use this psalm today because 
we need that light. We need a path to follow. We need to be ready to do what God's called us to do. We need to know about who he is and, and give us that comfort because if we try to do it on our own, then we may fall. But if we listen to the discernment through the Holy Spirit of what God has for us, then we will be led to do the right actions. We will be led to um, carry our conscience forward. And that will be to help others, to pray for others, to contact others. And there's great social media out there to contact. Just as I'm using Facebook now, Facebook Live, you can contact others through a program called Zoom, which is free. It's a free app. And uh, there's some other programs that are out there. If you have an iPhone, it's, you know, you can have FaceTime together. Uh, Android does have something that's very similar to FaceTime. So even if you just talk to somebody, but if you FaceTime them, it'd be great to see their face and see their smiling and be able to talk to them that way and just carry that conversation on. They get, you know, technology is good. Now, some of you still have the old flip phones and but you can still text with that, so go ahead and do that. But better yet, call somebody. Let them know you're praying for them and let them know that you care for them. And let us lift each other's needs because we can be in a time of discouragement. It says, I'm deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Isn't that true? I mean, we are in a deeply troubled time. There's many people out there till he got a call from her daughter today where somebody just chewed her out for 30 minutes. There's somebody that's spreading rumors about one of their employees being infected. I mean, this is vindictive. This is not the way we need to treat people, but we should treat them with kindness and the love that God has supplied for us. That's not the way to treat people, but it is to share Christ's love and to give them the hope and the encouragement that comes along. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I am not straight. I have not strayed from your commandments. Love your neighbor as yourself. Send them the same kind of love. Share with them the same kind of love that Christ has given us. And then I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Let us follow in the foots of Jesus. Let us follow and reach out to those. It's hard to be away from you. But I can tell you now that I come here every day just so that I can share with you and let you know how much I'm caring for you and how much I, I really am praying for you and for this body of Christ. It really, you mean so much to me, but I need to, I want you to know just how much of a body we are and you are an extension of, of Jesus to others. So reach out to others and do that. A couple Things that have come up, uh, Indian River County now has 14 um, people who are, are uh, infected with coronavirus, five men and nine women. Uh, Port St. Lucie County uh, has, or St. Lucie County has recorded one death according to, um, uh, cr due to coronavirus. So we don't have great numbers here, but it's, again, remember, we have not had a lot of testing. So there may be others out there that really have it or are carriers for it or test positive for it, but they haven't been tested. So those numbers are going to be lower until we can find out how many get tested and then how many are negative and how many are positive. So we just need to keep those things in prayer. Don't take the, you know, any extra chances um, from doing that. The last thing I want to share with you is, you know, services and the, the office is closed. Um, we are not doing an eight o'clock service. We, I will be here at 10 o'clock. And as I said yesterday, if you come, I will not kick you out, but I am not encouraging you to come. There is plenty of room here for social distancing and it will be a right one service, no music. Well, we might have a little music if Michael shows up, but it's not going to be a very long service. But I do need to bring you the Word of God. I need to share with you the Word of God and encourage you in the Word of God because that is where our hope comes from. My hope is in the Lord. That's, you know, we, we read that in Scripture. So I want to encourage you to do all the things that we need to do. If you're sick, stay home. If you know somebody who's sick, don't go, by, don't go visit them. Wash your hands regularly after you go to the bathroom. Don't touch your nose and eyes. You know, and think about it, when you go to the stores, you know, if you don't have wipes or sanitizer, 
Um, as soon as you get home, wipe everything down and wash your hands. Um, we don't want this spread to go any further than it is. And so with that note, I just want to encourage you to seek the Lord. Get outside. Don't stay in the house all day. You got to let an eye get out there. You can always go for a walk. They haven't put us on total lockdown. Go for a walk around your block. Go for a walk or sit outside. But get some fresh air. Get that vitamin D in you. And just as you're walking, which we do, we keep our breath, you know, the, the breath of, uh, you know, distance um, between us and somebody else. And it's always good to see a face and wave to them and say hi. So as it, at this time, I'm not sure what we're going to do next week for Palm Sunday. That's still up in the air. But be safe, please. I'm going to leave you with uh, Paul's final greeting uh, from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning at the 11th verse. Now, he does say greet each other with a holy kiss. Don't do that unless you know that person and they're in your family. But you can always just say, okay. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice, strive for full re restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Those are great words. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All God's people here send their greetings. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And on that note, I will let you off for your day, the rest of your day. Be joyful in the Lord. Be Raise a song of joy for him because of who he is. And I will try to be back here tomorrow. I'll send out a robocall tomorrow for you at probably about 2 o'clock so, um, or sometime in the afternoon and uh, let you know what's going on. So grace and peace to you in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a blessed day. Have a Jesus-filled day. And remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. I'm Father Dave. I'm out for now.